Yes, indeed, Sally. Behind me is a block of flats where Susan Nicholson was smothered to death by Robert Trigg, the second girlfriend he killed. We now know others were assaulted and attacked. And he could have escaped prosecution due to his ability to hoodwink police and their failure to treat the deaths as suspicious, something Sussex police have now apologised for. What would you say to the families of the women that you killed? You sent children to find their mother's body. Isaiah 50, verse 11. They should be in here, not me. Defiance from Robert Trigg as he entered court today. The judge told him he'd caused the senseless, brutal murder of two women. He killed Caroline Devlin in 2006. Her body was found by one of her children on Mother's Day. A post-mortem recorded that she died from natural causes. In 2011, Trigg suffocated 52-year-old Susan Nicholson. An inquest into her death ruled that Miss Nicholson died accidentally after Trigg had inadvertently rolled onto her while they were asleep on a sofa. Susan Nicholson's parents refused to accept the ruling. They hired their own experts to prove she was murdered. Yesterday, he was found guilty of killing the two women and begins his life sentence today. Susan Nicholson's parents described the past six years as mental torture, so too for both her sons. We both had, had, a, had breakdowns of our own. I mean, when, I, when, when it happened, I had a flat and a job and... And since then, I've lost it, lost my job, had, had problems over the years with like, drug problems and depression and that since. And to be honest, it was only my daughter being born that sort of saved me. Today, the family said they were pleased with the sentence, but will wait for the outcome of a police review into how the case was handled in 2011. What's your reaction to uh, the sentencing today, Peter and Elizabeth? He got a very long sentence. Yeah. It'll be years before he gets out now. And I think he's got what he deserves. He's yeah. a very nasty sort of man. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we're, we're really satisfied with what happened. Caroline Devlin's family always thought her death was suspicious. Suspicions confirmed when they heard how Susan had died. What made you so sure that Robert Trick had done something to your daughter? Well, when something happened to Susan, we twigged in that something was wrong. We knew then that um, something was wrong, something happened to Caroline. We knew then when we read about uh, five years, six years ago, we read about Susan. Caroline Devlin's family now want to move on. Susan Nicholson's family say they can't. And they can't because there are too many unanswered questions. Why didn't the police investigate sooner, knowing Trigg's history of violence against women and against Susan? Why wasn't the flat treated as a crime scene? And why was Trigg not interviewed as a suspect? Trigg's story changed between his statements to police and at the inquest. Why did the coroner accept this? The skeletons say they won't stop until they have those answers. What's even more gall galling for the family is that Robert Trigg, after Susan's death, gave his story to newspapers and magazines with headlines such as Killed by a Cuddle. This at a time when her parents were still struggling to get their voice heard. Now, finally, they have got their voices across and they've got justice for their daughter. And Jana, thanks very much. The children's service.